storage pine, make sure you, you have adequate clearance around your work area. The amp is in a cradle to keep it steady so it doesn't fall over. Remember, you have 500 volts here that you're dealing with. Make sure there's someone else around that can call 911. So when the EMT shows up, they can at least say, I told them not to do it that way. But seriously, someone else should be around monitoring your work. They should also know something about CPR. And before they render any aid at all, they should know where the power switch is to shut down the whole system before they render aid and make the area safe. There only needs to be one victim if that happens, and that's you. The, other, the person responding shouldn't be another victim, so they need to know where the, the main power supply is for the setup and shut it down. Variac, the voltmeter, the leads, always connect first. No rings, no th and things, nothing on the arms, no sleeves. Don't want to hang up, you need to be able to get away. Anytime you're probing, it's only one hand. That one's behind your back, and this is where you'll do your probing. Never reach in with two hands. That could prove to be a very deadly mistake. So with that, let me crank this up and show you what's going on. I'm going to power up the PV amp. Amps on. I'm gradually powering up. I'm monitoring the voltage on a fluke meter. I'm watching this area. I'm at full voltage. I'm looking at 498 volts. I want you to listen to something. It's quiet. That hum, you need to adjust the hum pot. At that point, there's a still a slight hum to it, but it's fine. This gets hot when you hear that big hum. So when you hear a lot of hum, that's conducting two watts. It's now less than a quarter watt. The differential voltage across this is now less than a few volts. On this side of the resistor, 443. On this side, 426. That's good. Or 30 15 volts when the hum is going when you hear the hum because the hum balance pot is not correctly adjusted there's 28 volts and that's about 2 watts and it would be uncomfortable with my finger this this close to it that's one thing to notice to, to point out in my shop notes to you. I'm going to turn this thing off now. We're going to wait for it to bleed down. I'll get my wooden stick to direct the rest of it. 60 volts on the B plus here. 51. There is a fuse here one amp. This is in the B plus side of the rectifier, comes through the one amp fuse that goes into the filter caps. These are your reservoir, these are your filter. You might notice, say, well from a previous photo uh, video, wasn't that one of these? Yes it was. And of all the time I have recorded a video to share with you on YouTube. The one time that the camera wasn't rolling was when this thing let loose. When I first powered this thing up, I could hear the hum. I didn't initially put two and two together. Where's that hum coming from? Because this thing was so hot I started seeing smoke. 
and I turned it off. And I played with it on and off again a little bit. Again, a nice reason for having a variac is you can bring it up gradually, and if you start seeing something amiss in here, since this was the problem area, turn it off and rethink. Didn't have that option. I wasn't hardly up to 60 volts input to the board when this thing let loose. It was a cloud of smoke that I had opened the garage and vent the place because it was there was nothing to see at that point. It blew. Why did it blow? Two reasons. One, I think uh, even though it's a brand new cap, they fail. Sometimes you just get a bad cap. So I think it was a combination of that and since the hum pot wasn't balanced, this thing must have been, the differential voltage calculates this thing may have been seeing uh, three to five watts. The fuse didn't let loose. The cap did. This is actually a more sensitive fuse than the fuse is. So the cap, the fuse is a great idea on paper, but it didn't save the circuit. So one of the reservoir caps blew. And I knew it was a reservoir cap because that's what this position is. The, the standby switch was switched off. So these are only two things that were caps that were initialized. So when starting up a power saw apply for the first time, if it has standby switch, switch it, switch it on to make sure that the, the filter caps are off so only the reservoir caps are functioning. You want to do some voltage checks at that point. Next thing about this PV power supply board, this cord which supplies B plus to the other two boards, the middle cord, the black cord, is the ground. This board, a power supply board, has no other ground in order to make sure there's no ground loop. So it gets its ground through this cord to this board to the chassis. You have to have this plugged in in order for this board to have a ground and operate properly. I'm now less than a half a volt. I can unplug this. So don't count on this fuse protecting anything here. If that's what it was designed for, you can tell by the charred mark from when this thing came in, it didn't happen. Again, I have the setup here is where I can walk around. The garage door is open. I can walk around here. I can walk off of it should I need to. Uh, you want to have plenty of area around the test area when you first start these things up. Very act is very important for that. Like I said, I didn't even get to 120 volts. I was 60 volts when this thing let loose. Again, a reason for having safety glasses. Someone standing by, should something go wrong, power supply, first time I apply voltage to power supply, it's a very critical time, it makes me nervous. Deal with it logically, not emotionally. Understand a, a test step procedure, always observe that before bringing this up. Again, uh, this resistor, which is part of the filter cap, 400 ohms, 10 watt, but the reason for 10 watt is to give you some forgiveness that when the hum, hum balance pot is out of whack and you're hearing it, this is going to heat up. They really should put the hum balance pot inside the amp where people can't get a hold of it. I called the person using this amp and I said, did you ever notice a hum? Yeah, it always had a bad hum. Just never knew what to do with it. And I go, it was one of the problems with this amp. Eventually, when I got things repaired, it contributed to the problem. The speaker was contributing to the problem. That's what blew this power supply up. This fuse doesn't do what it's designed to do. So I hope you found this useful. Thank you for watching.